A scout is trusted. A scout is loyal. A scout is friendly and considerate. A scout is a brother to all scouts. A scout has courage in all difficulties. A scout makes good use of his time and is careful of possessions and properties. A scout has respect for himself and for others. These are the promises we took as scouts and we have only one wish, that senior staff in Scouting Ireland live up to the principles and laws they so eloquently espouse, which up to now, in this regard, they have completely dishonoured. We also call all scouts, past and present, with information to come forward as honourable, trustworthy and courageous brothers. We are, after all, still fellow scouts. When late at night, under the canvas tent, far away from his family, a child's sleeping bag is unzipped by a predator to gratify his perverted sexual desires, he not only takes pleasure for himself, he takes all innocence from that boy, all his trust, all his joy, all his hope, all his love for life, which up to that point was in abundance in that little lad. When a scout leader takes a boy off into the woods for an hour or two, to sexually abuse him, to defile him, to dishonour him, to undress him, to humiliate him, to cripple him emotionally, to make him do things he cannot possibly comprehend in his young, developing, adolescent, confused mind. What returns from those woods is no longer that little boy, but a broken child, a shadow with lifelong struggles, a tormented ghost who will spend a lifetime looking for that which was taken. And if he eventually finds what he spends his adult life looking for, often it is too late. There are many ways to murder a child, but there are ways to kill a child and leave the body alive. And that is possible by sexual abuse. It is our view that no one needs to learn how not to abuse a child. No one needs to learn how not to cover it up. However, one needs to bring justice and to punish those who do. It took some of us 40 years thus far to get justice as individuals, suffering long, hard years in silence and alone a lot of that time. Now today, together, with your help, we need justice to prevail, for our sake, for the sake of all victims, and more so, for the sake of future generations, that organisations we trust with our most valuable treasures, our children, are safe places. We hope it will not take another 40 years. Thank you.